Alrighty then, mic check, mic check. Welcome aboard, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. My name is Vinny. If it's first time with us, you have been missing out. It is a Mentorship Monday. We are going to be covering a whole, whole lot of things. So make sure you smash that like button. And of course, follow us over there on our social media accounts. Don't forget, trading is risky. But if trading is for you, this might be the place for you. And of course, here is the information on our Instagram. This is the main area here. And of course, here on Discord, if you want to learn how we earn. Let's get into some of our training here tonight. We got a a lot of cool topics to cover i'm excited about covering some of this so last time we left off we went through an entire series on uh, manual who put his entire video out there on this and we did a uh, critique through those and again just reminding you do not have to be perfect to be profitable lots of things that he could have improved on in this and still came away with multi thousand dollar winners over those series of trades there fantastic work there by manual so let's move into the next section here in our announcements i wanted to cover here tonight i uh, wanted to talk about trading decisions simplify this is a great video for you guys. I'm going to try to remember to leave this link down in the description. But if I don't, go and watch this one this week. This should be one of your homework assignments. This is, even if you are going through our stuff and you're going through the top down list, I think right now is a great time for you to pause everything. And I want to, to show you, I think... I might even push this one up to the top of our list for understanding trading decisions simplified. I think this applies to anybody. And as I went back through this video, somebody was mentioning part of it, in, uh, parts inside of this video. This is extremely powerful, even if you are not using Algobox. So I think this is going to help out everybody. So go check that one out. And I think you're going to get a lot from that one. So other things, we talked about this this week. If you did not go watch the um, sensitivity settings on the G300S and how your mouse settings can improve your trading go and check that video out that's the video right in front of this one now let's go to the next section here um for those of you guys who are ict fanboys and you know you guys are trying to figure but he but vinny he calls the markets every day you know all that stuff no folks when you do this i mean i love that somebody drew this out it was like I, this is somebody actually being serious okay they drew out the the three different ways like i said like well we could go up we could go down or we could go sideways but this guy's like oh sideways or, or down in a couple of days i mean listen folks like if, if you if you're like well we could go somewhere over here <laughs> that's a classic classic ict mode Firuz fahimi yusuf um says here's how you should trade ict uh yeah um, so I, I literally like I want to want to point out that they're telling me okay Algobox fan club and fake ICT here uh, this is how you mark your chart show what will happen and not already happen it, this is this is insane anyhow um, if you want to know how your mentor is doing this he's doing it behind a paywall and then coming out here and telling you guys that he called it and well yeah if you call it all three ways that the market can go yes one of them is gonna go he's not telling you that one of them isn't working so let's just move on from that um, all right, so uh, what was this one? I had the same question. Okay, what was the question? Hi, can we possible for this drawing on the chart to show on the ripples? And if so, what's the name of the? Okay, so F six. Hold on a second. Um, did not post the first part of this. Okay, how to set the dotted white line as the default when you press F6. So he's talking about the F6 tool here. This is simply the horizontal line tool. Um, and I'll show you how we set this real quick. All right, so all you're gonna do is go ahead and press your normal F6, which is going to draw the horizontal line. Then on that line, you are going to right click Okay, and this will show you the properties of the line. Now, this is of the current one, but what you wanna do is set those properties to what you want. And he's asking, how do you set it to the dotted white line like I have? So in those settings, uh, there is a style. Okay, and set the style equal to dash. Okay, or a dashes, I think it's dashes, plural. So set the style to dashes. And then of course, um, I think it's pretty straightforward when you see color equal white, bam. Okay, so once you've set that, now that's gonna change it to your current line. Okay, so this will now show up as, uh, I don't have a, a white, so I can't <laughs> do that. But uh, so you now this will turn to dashes and it'll be white. And then in that section on the bottom, you'll need to save template as default, okay? Uh, bottom right, set, now uh, just do save, and it's called the template. 
and make sure you set it to default this is the key right there if you want yours to stay that way okay save it as default okay and i think there's some screenshots that, uh, on that in the room but somebody was asking there's multiple people asking that question because you guys saw that from my last video um they should already be set for you like that if you are downloading the latest but if yours got messed up somehow this is how you would set that back okay all right so let's move on um let's talk uh, about some housekeeping real quick so one of the things about in the next release that will automatically be set for you and let's talk real quick about the next release so um we were trying to get this out ahead of time but um here is what's going on so march the first big date okay coming up here on march the first we are going to have the new website fully on lord i mean it's it's there right now um, you guys can get onto it even right now as you want, but the new website is officially online and the old website is going offline, okay? And then um, the new installer, okay? Uh, we've got all kinds of cool tweaks for this. You're gonna have new performance enhancements. And one of the big ones is Delta. No longer for the Flowmaster. Um, how about fm delta for the Flowmaster delta this is required ninja trader lifetime in the past you we now have a new version of this where you do not require no more lifetime okay um so you will not need to use ninja trader lifetime anymore if you would like to uh, get that so practice with it and of course there are advantages to using ninja trader lifetime um, there are discount um, discounts on your um, uh, commissions, etc. with the broker. So, you know, there's advantages to having it, but that is also coming with it. Um, don't forget, on this March 1st, another date, this is the last time. If you get in after March the 1st, we will not include robots. You're going to see what's going to be... Um, we're going to talk about some of that here tonight. Just as some examples of some folks, you know, with LunchBot. So, LunchBot... Headshot, bot, and two finger salute. Okay, all three of these robots are going to be included for those of you guys who are in before March the 1st. That new installer that's coming out, that will be included for those of you guys who are in since you've been with me on the old website. Kind of a, a high five to you guys who have been with me for a long time. But going forward, um, our support, we're going to drop support for the, the full auto for gold members. Now, again, this is going to be for gold. If you're a platinum member, you know, you can still, you're still going to be getting that. But for gold, remember, we are including platinum packs, three of them, into the gold pack. If you guys have questions on this. Come pop them over in the chat, but we did need to take care of some of that housekeeping here this evening to know that March 1st is the deadline, the cutoff. If you are watching our videos right now, it's uh, right here on Valentine's Day. So you have two weeks. There are two weeks left. So you can go and do a two-week free trial right now. And if you do decide that you want to get in with us before March the 1st, the three robots will still be included. After that point, there is literally a hard cutoff in our installer that there will be no more. You will not have any more Lunchbot. Not even Lunchbot. People have been like, oh, well, Lunchbot's been included for years. Yes, Lunchbot going away we're not supporting it anymore headshot not happening two finger salute not happening we have uh too many people too many questions and not enough usage on it it's just it's been more of a pain i'll be honest it's more of a pain in our tail um than it has been worth now again it's great for you guys um uh, but we have new people coming in all the time and they won't focus on the actual strategies they're over here just trying to fart around with lunchbot they won't even watch the videos on it they just want to think that you know install it and whatnot so there's a the masses have um I mean, we're pretty big. We're, we're the largest futures trade room in the world now. 34,000 people who are hanging out with us there in Discord. And our YouTube channel continues to grow. We've got quite a following there on Instagram as well now. And it's just getting to be too much. I'm just being honest with everybody. So platinum members only, which again, at that point, we know that you are, you've gone through our studies, you've gone through the training, and these are less of an issue. So hopefully that answers the why. I'm not just trying to be mean about it. It's just, uh, it's time. You know, it's business and it's family stuff and all that kind of whatnot to try to um you know to, to get a little more time on our hands and encourage people to you know stick with the program get down the list go down and learn the strategies that you need to learn and if later on you want to upgrade to you know some full auto stuff in the future you can do that after we know that you've been through the training program and not wasting your i don't want to say wasting your time but uh, a lot of people are just constantly asking questions about the full auto stuff and not paying attention to the primary strategies etc Okay. All right. Um, 
Lifetime access. Okay, yeah, so this was just uh, mentioning that free version is right. So yes, by the way, so our system, the Delta, the Flowmaster Delta will now also work with the free version of Ninja Trader. So you will not, if you are going through just training and things, you will not need to have Ninja Trader Lifetime in order to take advantage of Flowmaster Delta on top of, of course, we have Flowmaster Visuals, Flowmaster Audio Box. Those two components have always been there, but now the Flowmaster Delta flagging is also going to be working for you. All right. Um, Watching in queue, hearing audio on the ES, already missed the entry. Okay, I wanted to talk about uh, this one. So this might be you. I'm sure it's not just uh, J-Dub having this issue. I don't want to say issue, um, but a lot of people think this way. So as you are, um, let's go to a, a drawing window here. So if your main 4K screen is divided up and you've got your, um, your four instruments laid out here. Okay, we're going to have ES. We're going to have YM gonna have NQ and uh, RTY. So righty tidy, lefty loosey, righty on the right. All right, so RTY. So you got your four instruments laid out here and his question was related to the audio settings. How are you? He's like, he's over here. He says he's looking at his NQ, okay? And he's got his, his buttons right here and he's, you know, got ready to kind of press some buttons right here. But then he's saying, oh, but then I'll hear something up on the ES. And so then I got to look up over it and I missed the trade. Okay, folks, if this is you, listen to me. Quote. Okay, this is, this is your, this is your help and your warning. This should not be a thing. Okay. I missed the trade on da da da. Cause you know, but you, you got, you got pinged particularly on an audio alert. Okay. Okay. If you are relying on just the audio alert to go over there and, and hit the trade, okay, well, you, you're already missing it, okay? You should not be having this situation, and you will see this if you watch my small account challenge. Now, I know J-Dub is a little bit new with us, so you, but this may be you. He's not probably the only person having this. Um, you will learn as we go through our system that you are actually timing. You're waiting on timing. You're already going to know what instrument that you should be looking at, and you're not going to be caught off guard and surprised right by an audio alert oh the audio alert fired up oh i missed the trade okay now mind you i'll back up on that and if you do want to capture every trade that's going across all of our instruments well that's where full auto comes in okay this is the advantage of um of platinum members where you know well theirs is just going to take it anyhow right they're going to take the you're not going to miss a headshot they're going to not going to miss a two-finger salute they're not going to miss any of our trade setups if it's uh, turning on platinum dots and you're going to hit you want to turn on all blue dots right take to let's take every blue dot or every pink dot you can set that in full auto um but you as a trader this is not your job. You should be focused in on which instrument is trading at the proper speed, okay? And then you are working on timing. Now, how, what is timing? This is the SMLK lines, okay? Um, if that trade, he said, particularly in his conversation there, he said he was looking at NQ and all of a sudden, oh, he missed a trade over on the ES. Remember folks, it is not your job to try to take every single one on every single setup, but you should be having these within your eyeballs because here's something else. You see how like right here in the center, as I'm looking at this screen, I can see all four kind of in my periphery or whatever. I don't want this too large, which is why I implore you guys, will you please just buy the stuff that I tell you on hardware, either get a 43 inch television or a 55 inch television. And I'm going to show you guys why now today in 2022, there is really no excuse not to have these. It's gotten so cheap and inexpensive. We just saw some post in the room for literally these 65s now are literally less than $500. So a 55 is going to run you somewhere in the neighborhood between $250 and $400 tops. And if you get the lowest, the smallest that we recommend, a 43 is only going to cost you like at Walmart right now. The last one that I bought um, for one of my kids rooms was $250. And again, you don't need anything fancy. You can get a 60 Hertz um, television because all we care about is the panel. Now, if you want to get upgrade, you know, upgrade and get fancy, I do recommend yeah, if you can afford it, get 120 hertz, which is going to be an OLED. OLEDs are very nice, um, so smooth, but you don't need it. You don't absolutely have to have it. Yes, very cool, especially if you're a gamer, that you can put that big beast on your desk and then you've got this huge, amazing thing. But you need to have your instruments in front of you, okay? One of our folks who's been here now a while, you know, I kind of had a coming to Jesus moment with, with our boy Dr. Phenom today. We'll talk about that here in a moment on get your hardware set up appropriate. 
because you guys are locking in on a single instrument or you're getting caught off guard because, oh, I missed the trade and this, this kind of scenario right here happens because they're not within your eyeballs distance. I want those four within your grasp. Okay, I don't wanna beat this dead horse here, but this is the point here. You should not be having this, I missed the trade moment. SMLK timings prevent that, okay? Now, how does that work? I'm gonna show you real quick, okay? Here's the tip. Now again, you're gonna watch this in another video, so I'm just gonna run this, run through this very quickly here tonight. Okay, you've got different, um, you got different timings. Now, if you're looking at any instrument, doesn't matter. What you want to look for is maybe just look for things that are between the blue. Let's get me a S. Here we go. And a pink. What are these? Blue is a large. P is a king. Okay, large and king. Now, what are our other ones? We do have two others. We have red, gonna be small, which you know, it's red because it should be a warning, like warning, warning. We don't necessarily want to take this one. Um, medium, it's gonna be green, okay? And you will have those lines like this. But let's say for a minute, we're really trying to avoid trades in these. Now, if we take one here, sure, we're gonna make sure, what are we doing? T1, right? T1 only if they are in between small and king and are not between this bullseye and this bullseye, All right? You guys know this from SMLK timings. This is, again, if you're lost right now, folks, go and watch the videos on this. This is for the people who have been here a while with us and for J-Dub who particularly is wondering, you know, hey, how do I not miss these? So if price is moving, let's do an orange for our price line coming through here. Okay, so, so price is kind of coming around and we're coming and we're right here, okay? Well, Whatever instrument is right here, just past the king timing, this is the one that your eyeballs should be on. Right? Make sense? I'm looking right here because we just crossed the king timing. Right? If you're on NASDAQ and you're back here like watching it while it's over at SMLK, right? You're kind of you're kind of missing it, right? So if you had looked up over at the ES and the ES is on king timing, right? The price is pushed past a king timing. This is how you would get ready. What I kind of call stalking your trade. You're like you're ready for it, you wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Okay, enter, 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 because you got a headshot or you got a uh, a double dot set up, which hopefully you wouldn't have a double dot because it's not just gonna alert you like that. You're gonna have one dot already, you would have seen it, and then when the second one shows up, let's do a green one here. So first dot had showed up over here, second dot showed up right here, bam, like you see that double dot shot and you're gonna take that, right? Um, so don't be caught off guard. Don't be reactionary to audio settings. That's our audio alerts. I don't want you guys doing that. Okay. Do not be caught off guard by those. Now, not to be, cons not to be confused with audio box, but again, J-Dub, you're new with us. Uh, watch through the videos. I encourage you, you know, keep going through the videos. I can tell like you're asking really, really noob questions right now. It's okay. I'm helping you guys out as you go through. Again, that's my job as your mentor to encourage you as you're going through. Uh, but you had the question and I don't want you to, uh, you know, to be, to be lost on that. All right, um, some folks can get some of these things wrong. Be careful of mislabeling, okay? So somebody here said Delta King and Headshot, and I stared at this screen for like, I don't know, a good, I don't know, not too long, like 20, 30 seconds, and I'm like, there's no Headshot here. There, I mean, there's like, a Headshot requires a cross, okay? There are things like this, folks, that um, I don't know why some people get this stuff wrong, okay? But please, please take notes. Please be accurate in what you're thinking, especially if you've done such a great job in coming here and labeling. Don't mislabel, okay? Now, I had a discussion with the person who puts, posted, this in, posted, this in, posted this in, and they said they thought that in one of my small account challenge videos that I said a, a dot on a king timing was equivalent to a headshot. Now, I may have said something like it's as powerful as, but I think he got that confused with that. So please pay attention to, you know, training and stuff. If I'm in a live market condition and I, I say something like write it down because he also couldn't point me to what video it was. He's just like he thought he heard. Just be very careful of this. Don't mislabel stuff. Although I want to point out this is a great setup. Why do we have this as a great setup? Well, over here to the left, what's our big picture on the Mac V? What is this telling us? We're mixed, right? So we're mixed, what does that mean? That means we can play both directions. Wow, I told <laughs> y'all can't read that. That says mixed, <laughs> me and my fat Creole are writing there. Mixed, we've got red and greens um, back and forth there. So we can take both directions when we get a setup, right? So this was a nice one coming right in. Um, 
we had a big delta saying, okay, cool. We've got action coming in on the chart. Delta has shown up. This is our, it's not already up because there's not two deltas, although it could be debated. There's another one right there, but they're pretty far apart. Okay, so I would not call this uh, necessarily a double delta. Usually these are gonna look like they're gonna be closer to each other. However, um, you can see that there's no big red prior to this. And these are the two largest that we've seen and they coming in and they're coming in right at that king timing there. So that's nice. Now, that's not just any king timing. What else is going on there? That is a double king timing right there. Can you guys see how those are two pinks, the kings that I just told you about? There are two laying on top of each other, which means you've got a higher time frame also kicking in right there on the end of an accumulation, which means we could get that big distribution coming in. And that was a beautiful move right there on, and that's on ES. So. Um, handle counts on that, you are looking at 4403s down to 95s. So you're talking about eight times four, 32. That is a beautiful 32 tick drop down on that. 32 ticks on ES, that is a huge, huge move right there off of that one. Great play, just make sure you, you get it labeled right and perfect exit on the cross, great spot. So you're entering in on the dot. Boom, you get your setup coming in. It's also, you see the crossover timing right there? That is red and blue right there. So you have a small and a large, but you got a power up spot with the white cross for an exit. Beautiful play right there. Just make sure you label it properly. Good stuff. All right, so now, how much time we got? We're at only at 20 minutes, so I'm gonna go 10 more minutes here and let's run down uh, some of the stuff from the overnight. So we've got some people coming in from Australia, overnight stuff, we're gonna talk a little bit about that. So what time of day do you guys trade? And he's over there in the Aussie. A few folks overnight, it's like 3 a.m. You know, our time, so we're zonked to sleep. Said, is there FOMC news? Should I turn off Lunchbot? So by the way, again, another reason, again, look, this person is new with us, you can tell, okay? Because their name is in white over here, but this person, I can just tell you, like they're not focused on learning the strategies, executing on the strategies. They're over here, you know, I, I say farting around with Lunchbot. Because again, Lunchbot only runs during a single hour during the middle of the day. And yet this is the focus of this person at 3 a.m., right? Talking about, should I turn Lunchbot on or off? And this is not a member. So again, Lunchbot is going away to remove the distractions. So... <laughs> I mean, don't don't beat him up for it. It's not he's not the only person or he or she is not the only person who does this. This happens a lot. But they're like, oh, OK, so I heard on the FOMC. But at least he's reading, watching the videos. I mean, I've got some people who come in here, don't even watch the videos. And they're like, I turned this on. It doesn't seem to be working. No, no trades have taken. Well, because it's it only runs during lunchtime. And they're like, I don't know why I haven't taken a trade all morning. It's called Lunchbot. Lunch, lunch, ES. Anyway, they don't go watch the videos. There's three videos, by the way. Um, if you are looking at Lunchbot, there's three videos and it cracks me up that people like don't know. Anyway, we're just pulling them off. So won't have to worry about it anymore. So Aaron Jacob, if you are watching this later, uh, don't worry about it. Um, you won't have to worry about Lunchbot, but I am proud of you that at least you know that FMC, FOMC News, you would turn it off because that's part of the video. So I'm glad you watched the video, but you're not gonna have to worry about it if you don't get it before March the 1st. Anyways, so just keep that in mind if you do and you are liking Lunchbot and Headshot Bot and Two Finger Salute, if you want those, make sure you get in before March the 1st. But he did accurately come over here and look at the news reports and he identified that there's FOMC. Now, today's a Monday. Why would there be an FOMC event on a Monday? Well, this is a very interesting day, folks. I, I actually thought he got it wrong this morning. I went and looked and I'm like, oh, he's right. On Forex Factor, there was an unscheduled, like pre-scheduled, um, like last minute, I forget what they called it, but uh, a special meeting. Yeah, there we go. You have a special meeting called later today. Okay, so I mean, something's up, right? So be careful. I think volatility is going to be kicking. I would say be careful, be excited because the next few days, I think the volatility is going to be up. So those of you guys who are paying attention here with us here tonight, I think this is going to be very, very cool. Um, special meeting and we don't even know what it's going to be. So there could be a surprise in there. Volatility could kick up for the next few days. VIX up, ticks up. We make more ticks when we got the higher VIX. So let's go, baby. That's exciting. But yes, there was an FOMC today. Would I have turned off Lunchbot today? Well, I, yes. So in general, if there's going to be any kind of surprises, I would rather not just let a full auto bot, which to me is like running an employee, right? It's just an employee, but you can make better decisions, in my opinion, than you and your employee, you being the expert at your business. That is how we address and use our robots, that you are the manager of your employees, which your robots are just employees of you. Make sense? All right. Um, somebody was asking, does it work for the Asian session in the London Open? Yes, it does, actually. This is what um, I think I, it was great that somebody did know. They've been watching some of our videos there. Um, 
Yeah, Benny, yeah, so it was a weird one today. Yes, there was actually, I know Benny said, hey, there was no FOMC today. Well, that was on our news event scenario, but on Forex Factory, they did have it. So another one of those weird ones where some of the websites are reporting that there was a special meeting, the other one did not. Be careful of those type of situations. These are the these are those outliers. Like like wow, you can't really plan for that. But if you're using our system, just you know execute, follow the tools, let the tools do the work, execute appropriately. Okay. Uh, so he was talking about avoiding the sessions when you usually wait. Now, um, I have said so. If you are going to trade overnight, right? I've got this big thing here. If you guys want to get this graphic again in our room, type exclamation mark sessions and then exclamation mark sessions two will show you the overnight one so this is the overnight sessions uh do not recommend for new traders okay to trade the asian and european session but again veterans of the markets if you guys have been around you know what happens overnight and things or if you're you know an, an aussie player or uh, you know on the other side of the world and this is your time to play well then you need to know what time is working well for us overnight in your daytime uh, again everything here is an eastern standard time please set your machines to est otherwise your lunch bot also will not work appropriately which is another one of those things why i am eliminating all of the bots for people who are coming in and the um, the free tard universe no no offense to everybody but like there was like coming in to kick the tires and they want five thousand questions answered on day one and they won't even take the time to watch the videos we can't explain everything to you in a very short two-week free trial which is why it takes 40 days to learn the system all right don't recommend it i warn it but if you are going to take the trades right right here volatility naturally comes in during the asian close plus the european open there's this beautiful crossover time our time est and we everything is in est 3 a.m and of course you have a little volatility kick up right there at midnight and of course also at the 6 a.m so i mark these out here and particularly what days of the week if i am going to recommend a day to do this i would say wednesdays and thursdays why because we have Red Star News events and Bank of Japan oftentimes on these days. And what do we want? We live on the VIX as volatility players, as players that are intraday and we're, we're, we make our money off of movements intraday. We want that extra movement. We don't want those lulls and we want to play when things are popping. So Wednesday and Thursdays on the overnight are going to be the most likely opportunities when those are going to occur. Now, does that mean you can't do it on a Monday night or a Tuesday night? No, I'm not saying that. I am just, if you're giving, if you want the mentor's experience of my 21 plus years of experience of being in these markets, this is what I'm telling you, okay? So check that out on the sessions um, to hopefully answer that. Um, Stu was talking about, yeah, his main session, he likes to come in here at this two to four. It's actually my favorite spot. Again, favorite, because I like to be able to read from what the day has done earlier. Um, if you're a market reader where you know, you've know you got a lot of history with the markets and you know how things open up, you know what a big run day is or a spindle top style day, you can kind of see what the day is already kind of developed into and you can make a better guess, in my opinion, at the high time frame. Again, do we have to guess the high time frame? No, and I would say guess because we're making our best estimated guesstimate, a scientific guess on what is gonna happen on the big picture, you never truly know there. We specialize in the lower time frames where we can see the algorithmic activity kicking in, we can see the size and speed, we can see the harmonic shape setups, we get the structure, we get the timing, we get the order flow kicking in from Flowmaster, and then we execute on our entries, like a headshot, two finger salute, etc. as you guys know, right? So uh, let's scroll on down. Let's get into the day. We don't have much time. Um, yes, I do think that uh, we may go ahead and add that. If you guys missed out on, I only do two. I only do one sermon a year. I have done two over the last couple of years. I guess I started that a while back. Maybe I, maybe I got some makeups to do because I didn't do it all six years that I was public out here. So, but I've done two. Okay, I've done them one each year, and I owe you guys one from this year. So we're we're coming up on that. But go check out that one. Um, Somebody had said, hey, they think that we should put um, the gospel and the message. There are two videos out there into our official training. I'll consider that. Um, but, you know, I don't want anybody to feel like it's being jammed down their throat and required because I'm already getting trolled by, you know, people saying stuff like, oh, he's just got his agenda on his shoulder. Listen, I want you to be wealthy here on earth and in the kingdom of God. I do want that for you. I do not require it. Everyone, um, you know, we lift up the message. And he says, whosoever shall come. All right. My job is to lift him up and he'll draw them in into him, right? Beautiful thing. But thank you for that uh, suggestion there, Roland. All right, so let's get into the trade day. I want you guys to see some things. We're gonna walk through some of the trades that some of our members have put in. Man, these guys, you guys who are putting in 
these um, giffies now. You guys are getting totally pro on this. I love this. So this, this is a headshot. Okay, so that other trade was not a headshot. This was definitely a headshot. Hopefully everybody can see that right there. That's just screaming at you. You've got our green dot with the white cross on it. Boom, boom, pow. Red dot, he takes part of position off. Looks like he closed the whole thing right after it. Not a problem. You can either take off half the position or full position. Also, this is a higher time frame. So high time frame, this is pushing in. So that's extra ticks going in. And right here, it got all kinds of confluence. We got a power, we got a power um, double dot in there and a double dot, I mean, this is quad dot going on right here. Plus the headshot, very, very kind of easy play to want to jump in on that excellent work we're after the king timing we got all that space right here so anything that shows up in between here is going to be a good play nice work uh, would have been cool if that had been able to get an extra run on it but you know i'm not sure what happened after would like to see you know if this kept on going in a little bit farther than this um because of just how powerful that was plus over here on the left so here's some critique what's that right there that is a double cross double move but it's in the form of a bubble right double bubbles double crosses you guys always you know i call it dcdm because it's double cross double move but you know that a cross is also a bubble you got two bubbles coming up in here right so what would i measure i want to measure i want to measure from here to here and i'm targeting from here to here right so i would be replaying this as this comes through but hey great play right here um on this one now he may have done this i saw some additional ones right after let's see so then toe in the water Adding to the position on the red dot. All right, let's watch this one all, all the way Sorry, I want to watch this one all the way through here. Entry, toe in the water. Adding to position on the red dot. Getting back double. Oh, it's a double dot short. Very nice. Third dot. Adding to position on the red. And bang. Wow, nice play. Very, very nice play. Excellent work. Oh. Shark got all jacked on you. Pops back up on you. Wow, this is a long one. Red dot, add to position. Add, very good, very good. Oh, this is pro. Who took this, who took this trade? Here comes king timing. Yeah, double king timing. Oh, look at him labeling it and everything. I'm about to have to let him teach the class. Red dot, add to position, but close the position there. Okay. Um, yeah, you can decide, to, oh, because he saw he saw it come up at the top. That's cool. Very, very nice. Who is, who's putting these in here? Danny. Danny has a pro skill tag on him. If you guys want to know how he got the pro skill, you can see it right there. I, got, I don't hardly have any critiques on that at all. Uh, man. Okay. Folks, I know y'all see a lot of me, like, critiquing people, and people are like, oh, yeah, he always tells people to do it right. Dude, he did that. Couldn't have done it better myself. That is uh, amazing, amazing work here. Um, all right, what do we got going on in this one? So I see a, a red dot on king timing. Okay, intro red dot at king timing. Yep, I see that. Uh, Mac V is mixed, so you can take either side. Yep, and close it. Okay, so nothing in, nothing out on that one. Not bad, not bad. Pushing the targets. Take a peek, uh, take a peek at this one here. That red dot at king timing. He's looking at this one up here. Got this one too. So we got multi-level confluence. We've got the ladder. I saw the ladder down there. Yep, ladders. So we want to suck it into the ladder. We're at the front part of the ladder. Take some off. And then we popped. Yeah, and then green dot. Close it out. Wow, did y'all see that? Wow, that was amazing work. Okay, folks, this guy, Danny. Danny's about to come teach the class. I told you guys, once you can do this, folks, you do not need me. Look at this. That's uh, that's at least uh, $800 play right there. Very, very nice. Very, very nice. Green dot to full exit into, he touched. Again, all we're talking about, we just want the ladder down there to attract it down. We take the position. We already know, look, we're going against current MACV, right? MACV is solid green over here, right? But he takes the play, gets his target one. Still getting $700, $800 out of a play like that. Very, very nice. Got the gold uh gold box over there to suck the price down into it he's got the red dot for the pinpoint entry red dot up top on king timing too well actually it was large so it's large king beautiful i i know everybody's like well if any of you always doing videos where you're making critiques and making tell everybody that their stuff sucks uh, i got i can't even i can't tell him nothing i can't tell danny's gonna come teach a class i'm telling you right now so what do we got we got uh multi dot wow triples 
Okay, but he closed on the red dot. Did he fully close out? He reversed because he got double reds. Red and red, reversing position, double dot on king timing. Yeah, that was a tricky one. Oof. Okay, double dot short. He's got a power dot up top. He's getting all, oh, look at him loading up. Look at how fast he reacted to this. Loading up, double dots up top, double dots up here. Red dot here, add to position. Pushing it into the ladder. Did he push it into the ladder? Did he finish this off like a boss? Oh, tell me that green dot didn't wreck you. Oh, green dot wreckage. No, but it came back down. Carnage, fake out to the top. I bet you that drops like a boss. Yes. Add to the position. Did he take that? Oh, it popped up afterwards though. Woo, that was that was tough. Wow, that was tough. But he knew the area. He knew the zone. The trickier play right there. Very very nice. Holy cow! Y'all watch, dude. Y'all need to go watch. Y'all need to go learn from Danny. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna start taking some lessons from Danny. This is amazing. All right, so he's playing the game. He's got MACV is green right now. So if he's going short there, that might be a little bit tricky. He's going to the long side. Um, PRZ for his target. Yep. Boom, hits it. He's got some runners on. Closes it out on king timing. No surprise there. You see, he went short first. He's like, okay, I got double dots on red, but we got the double dot reverse because he's noticed that he's got green dots. And he reversed, went the other direction. Started adding to position. Target up above. Very, very nice. Killer trade. Killer trade. Just following the rules, just following the system. Amazing, wow, great stuff. Okay, man, those are so awesome, Danny. Everybody give Danny a hand clap. Man, Danny, crushing it. All right, we're gonna be starting to save some of his work. Amazing. Uh, him and Taylor, we got some major, major players up in here. Great work. All right, let's look at some of these results. 73% profitable, profit factor 2.03. What do you do today? 914 for Mauricio, well done, sir. Let's scroll on down. Let's look. Okay, let's talk about some critiques here, folks. All right, this is my boy. All right, listen, man, Dr. Phenom, we've been trying to help him so much. This guy, Dr. Phenom, bro. Love you, bro. I love you, man. Okay, this guy is the YouTube extraordinaire. This guy watches everybody on YouTube. He is like, if you if it's on YouTube, the guy has seen it. Okay, the guy, I think he used to, like, it was, he, it was like his professional job to watch YouTube or something. I'm just joking. But, okay. He knows all of the scammers. He knows Trades by Matt. He knows TBM. He knows Day Trader Paradise. He knows every history of all these crazy guys, okay? We had to shake him of his habits. We finally got him to get over. But I told him, okay, bud, go out there and buy yourself a 43-inch 4K. He's like, uh, Vincent, please uh, let me uh, let me go over here and I'm going to I'm gonna get my, my two, I don't know what size these were. I think he said 34s. I don't know if these are 34s. He's kind of look small for that, but maybe, I don't know. Maybe they're, he's like, can I do those? I'm like, listen, as long as I thought he knew by now, I thought he knew my reasons, folks. I'm going to tell you why. Okay. This is improper setup, right? Can you see how wrong this is? This is so wrong. Got a nice setup here. Nice area. And he's just wasting this. This is wasted. If this is you and you are wasting your space, ah, oh, I'm going to help you out here tonight. Okay. It's very, very easy. For $250, you solve this whole problem. If you don't have $250, okay, well then solve this. Okay, if he's literally like he's, you know, a spot where he cannot get that monitor for some reason, he cannot buy the TV and set him up, this is unacceptable. He's got just the ES of all setups. What are we doing here? You cannot just have the ES. Okay, I told you guys earlier, let's talk about this. Why do you need all four in front of your eyes? It is not because, oh, well, he said this in the room. He's like, well, ES is my favorite. That is dumb. There is no such thing as a favorite. There is no favorites here. There are no instruments which are your favorite. There are those that maybe trade more. Like for me, you might say, well, what's Vinny's favorite? Somebody might say, well, NASDAQ. But I'm not going to say that. I'm only trading NASDAQ. It's just that this is the one that's going to be the fastest. So don't I want to make fast money? Don't I want to make more money than less? Yes. But if the markets are popping and going, right, then this is going to get too fast, which means this is going to be the right speed. This is all about getting gears uh i have no idea how to draw a gear i was about to draw a gear and i'm like uh i have no idea how to draw a gear and by the time i do y'all are gonna be like stop drawing your crappy gear thingy my bobber okay your gears 
you got to shift gears uh, in your transmission, okay? If it's going, we need to drive at that 45 to 55 miles per hour. We don't want to be driving 90 down the freeway and like blowing our face off. We don't want to be going too slow and driving with grandma down the left, right? We want to get that nice speed. So whichever, we are instrument agnostic. We care about speed. All right, so why does that matter? If he's like, well, he only has ES there, how can he tell what speed is going well? He has no visibility, zero visibility, okay? This is like driving a car with one gear. Any of you guys driving a car with one gear? What, go-karts? Are you driving go-karts, right? You ICT's, you know, son who, who you know, he does actually have a, a, a one motor, one, one thing. I, I don't even want to get into it, right? but I, I don't understand how a guy who claims he's worth $760 million is letting his two kids live in a trailer park down the street. And I really don't care that that's the case, okay? But don't come out here and claim that you are worth $760 million and that your sons are part of your organization and your sons, according to our private investigators, are living in a trailer park close to you. Like, bro, and your little house too, like what is this whole deal? You're not faking anybody out, ICT. You're not worth all that because you can't trade, bro. We've seen you, you can't trade and you're faking it. We already caught you, bro. Paper trading and then claiming that it was live on your TD Ameritrade, pretty sick, bro. And by the way, we're waiting. All he has to do, folks, I've already said, I will delete my freaking channel. All he has to do is open up the full trade history and the cash and sweep section on the TD Ameritrade, scroll it up and down in a video, not in a screenshot thing where he's editing like he's already proven he does in the past. Everybody's like, well, no, he would never do that. Folks, we have already shown he is willing to do anything. He's also claiming he's never been in the Robins, and yet Joel Robbins has said he's been in it three times. And from his own tweets where he was bragging about people being in it, going into it three years in a row, and you guys are still believing. I don't say you guys, but I'm talking about these ICT fraud out of Nigeria and South Africa that are all of these fakers and scam accounts that are out of the you know worst scamming countries according to Google that all these scamming accounts are supporting this stuff well you know why right he's either buying it paying for it or they are scamming um, the masses with reselling the same stuff and it's just it's all horse manure if you're still on the fence about ICT go watch the ICT um, scammer playlist down below and you know you can see the whole thing um, but Back here to the one single gear thing, okay? You cannot drive a car or a uh, even a motorcycle on a single gear unless it's a dirt bike. Like ICT's, you know, kid drives around and I'm not joking, it, literally that's what he's driving around. And no offense to him, if you like it, that's great. But stop acting like you're going around driving a Maserati and that you're driving around, you know, Corvettes as your, uh, as your uh, sports car or whatever. Just get out of here, man. He's flipping cars and stuff, acting like he's a day trader. Get out of here, bro. Sorry, a little frustrated by it, especially when he decided to threaten my kids and my family's life um, just to protect his shill. You know, I'm a little, little hot under the collar. It's just let, let me let me have my peace. All right, here we go. So ES, he spread one single instrument across five on one. What, what is this? What is he doing? I know he's got OBS over here. I know he's recording it. He's trying to, you know, record his trades. He's trying to get better. OK, but listen, this is not good. I thought when he was going to do this, he was like, OK, well, he said since he didn't want the 4K, I thought he was going to divide it in half like this. Okay. So that he had, um, let's see, far left. I don't even know how I can figure this. I don't like having to try to figure it out again. Let's see. So what would I do? I would put NQ for sure right here. Okay. So I've got my center buttons right here for my NQ. Um, then I would put RTY right here because these are my two hot ones. I'd put YM over here and then ES kind of out over here okay but then i mean what are you gonna do with discord like you i guess discord on a laptop whatever that's fine then you can't copy screenshots this is just a very limited setup but he said well i can make it work okay i asked him to make it work and this was his make it work this is does this does not work this will not work folks it will not work so if this is you you're still trying to fight all this look you're just fighting yourself i i'm I'm helping you guys. I want you guys to succeed. But when y'all are starting from a foundation like this, like you cannot win on a on a unsolid foundation. Okay, you guys know the Bible passage about the the the, the two houses. The the house on the rock stood firm. The house on the sand went. Pfft. Okay, this is what's happening. You're building your house on sand, and this is just gonna. Pfft. It's fine when everything's hunky do you know hunky dory. But when the rains come and the floods come up, like your house is gone. Okay, this is not gonna work. Anyhow. Don't want to beat that dead horse either, but get a proper setup. All right, next. Let me show you guys what happens if you do have a good setup, because we got lots of people in here absolutely crushing it. Foster throwing down 459 on the day. Khalid, great labelings. Um, I had some critique for him. Headshot just a little. Oh, because he he's got a few extra things. We already talked about this. He's got he can take off the market profile stuff. He's got 
Um, the auto channels he can take off and volume. Um, those are things that he can take off to and boost his performance. Go watch the performance video and the updates video. We got a crusher, bone crusher with 23K. I think this might've been the highest in the room here on the date. Max drawdown, 1K, 23K, 82% profitable. Profit factor, 13.63. Winners were 13.63 times the size of his losers. Congratulations to Manny who was out there and he's he's gonna go hang out with his lady then after that. Beautiful stuff there, sir. 5K profit factor, 11.85, 77% profitable for the Chuchster. Taskmaster, how do you do today? $9,000, amazing work. Profit factor four, winners were four times the size of his losers. 66% profitable on that, knocking down almost 10K for the man, the myth, the man, legend. Lost code, throwing down 4,700. Beautiful setup there, sir. Profit factor 3.74, amazing work. I am just so proud of this crew. Is this a headshot within three, four bars? Okay, this, um, could I call that a headshot? Not usually, I wouldn't call that one, but yeah, I got gotcha. you. I mean. I always tell people like don't don't try to part hairs okay and if you're already looking for a position and it's on the run i mean go ahead yes obviously that one's in a dive bomb so you can count that as a headshot if you're trying to if you had finger on the trigger ready to press the buttons and get in on something okay go for it don't sweat it just you know look any given one so what if you mess it up a lot of times again this is that whole um you know stop trying to be a cloud reader okay don't be a cloud reader if it's clear it's clear okay don't be trying to like try to find marge and homer simpson in the clouds it's just a cloud okay um, but yes, that's a uh, you could, but it's it needs to be within 10 or 15 bars. If I counted those, you'd probably be right at 10 or 11. Just be careful on those. Um, but obviously, yes, red headshot, short, boom, pow, nice. Um, one in session. Oh, but I mean, in general, if you have to ask, then no. <laughs> All right, if you have to, but I think your part in here is just that thing. Like you don't have to be perfect to be profitable. Please understand that too, folks. Like. Uh, take some shots like take a take a risk like toss it out there toss a toe in the water right remember i think a lot of people still keep thinking that you know when you're counting your five coins that they're all equal okay your coins you should probably picture them like like this starting from the left you got small coin maybe a little bit bigger coin bigger coin bigger coin and you got your big coin and then you got your bonus bonus coin like these are your five coins okay but everybody sometimes you start to think that because they are equal size sitting on your desk maybe maybe that's a thing maybe we need to have multi-sized coins you know over here on our on our desks right because they're all same size but they're not okay? your trade sizes are going to be different and in general we want to increase our size from left to right so you know can i tow in the water on something that i'm like maybe well i don't know this isn't perfect but yeah i'll give it a shot okay we'll toss a coin at it right that's my thoughts on that eight seven hundred percent profitable for bravo almost making a thousand bucks on that down two finger with the dot behind it i actually I used to call this a dox but then I've been doxxed so much, I don't even like to think about the word, thanks to ICT and Day Trader Paradise and scumbags like that that are out there like doxing, harassing, now apparently calling my brokers again. They sent me a... Day Trader Paradise is in some hot water, folks. Day Trader Paradise is um, engaging in anti-competitive practices. He's trying to go out there and sell. He's, he calls himself a fintech um, personality and he's out there selling software. And since we our software destroys his, obviously, um, he can't handle the normal competition and be out there like a normal person So he's out there and trying to do personal harassments and harassing my brokers Constantly literally I have 10 pages over here folks. Can you guys see this right hand side over here? Um, so Their legal team is sending me over like yeah, this is well We had to force their legal team to send this over. Let's put it like that uh, But they did they sent it all over us. There are 10 pages. This guy has been like outright lies uh, about us and calling me a racist, saying that uh, I'm talking about me sexually harassing a minor, all this crazy shit to get them like speaking hyperbolistic in order to try to get my brokers to ditch me. This is hilarious and at the same time very sad. And that is legal problems, my friend. You cannot do that. And we've caught him red handed. So y'all are gonna hear a little bit more about Day Trader Paradise coming in. He probably figured, oh well, while Vinny's out there attacking, you know, ICT, he won't he won't be after me. Well, tisk tisk, John Matthew Cowart, uh, bro. I don't know if you thought that you had any kind of, um, I don't know, uh, 
in the future you might want to be a hedge fund manager or something like that or you thought that you had a career path in this industry at some point uh <laughs> i don't think so bro you're about to show up on scammers.io and one of the top of the list right underneath ict so congratulations on that that's kind of sick bro um all right profit factor 2.41 a thousand on the day amazing work there that dude how do you do 100 bucks, hey, not bad, not bad. He's uh, starting his middle 40 days over. Okay, cool, very good, very good. Um, let's go, what else we got? Let's look at some of our trade setups. Okay, it was good practice session, switching. Too uh, much going on there. All right, Whisker, throwing out 12K, all on the short side. Wow, amazing work there, sir. 12,004, uh, profit factor 11. 82% smashing work. This guy just said, I am doing whatever Vinny says. Like, I am doing it exactly like he says. Absolutely smashing there. He was done before 10, well, 10, 15 a.m. Amazing, amazing stuff there, sir. Roger, wait. Did he beat? I think this is number one. Oh, I missed it. What was Danny's? Was it 28? Oh, now I, now I got to check. We have a 27K, and we've got a... We've got some massive... 23. Duh. I was wrong, Roger. Throwing down with the 27K on the day. Holy shnikes. He went both ways. Long side, short side. Wow. 88%, 7 profit factor, almost 8. Winners, 8 times the size of losers. Giving Roger a hand for, I mean, that is, that is some big stellar numbers there. Um, amazing, amazing. M2K, that dump on the run was fun. Was fun as heck and beautiful. Oh, the dump. Okay, so 4K, almost 5K, 93% profitable. Profit factor 44. Oh, man, he had no drawdown whatsoever there. Nice work, GP. Holy cow. This was just in the morning, folks. We hadn't even gotten to the afternoon, and I am way past my time here. I'm going to run through two or three more of these because I think there were some great setups I wanted you guys to see. Yeah, look at this. DCDM labeling. Look at these labels. Look at this. Now, I do got a critique. Okay, now I see it. I know you got your dollars up here. Maybe you have a reason for this. As long as you got dollars up here, I'm okay with this. He's got dollars up top and ticks on the bottom. Okay, in general, I don't like that. You guys probably know that already. Let me see if I can zoom this in. Just gonna let me zoom. All right, he's got the double cross, double move, taking a short. He's got his stops back behind the crosses and look at it just dump out, lay out. He's got his, look at where he's got his targets. You see that? Finally, I don't want to say finally, but the last few videos you guys have seen where people are not pushing their targets all the way out. They're still on this mindset of like multi-target. Remember, if you are a double cross, double move player, listen to me, double cross, double move players, you are a single target player. Big one, by the way, big target. You are a big target player, okay? BT, big targets. You are putting your target just like he did right here, all the way out there on that gold line. Please, folks, do this for yourself. I'm trying to help you out. Now, high time frame, he already had the awesome PRZ cross up in this area. So we've got the reversal point coming in. He's got the double cross, double move showing him. He's got the harmonics back behind. So red and red, and then he takes a red DCDM. Uh, this is how we do it, folks. Amazing, amazing work there, my friend triple back what is this no shark back delta triple king let me take a look at this one all right i see that gigantic delta i like that he's labeled that up there for us um shark back that's right there that's going to be our entry on the shark back and the delta so basically also giving confluence that we might reverse right there plus king timing Delta, oh, triple king. Oh, because he's saying there's triples right there. Holy cow. Yeah, it's a little bit fuzzy on this, but that is triple kings. Wow. And did that ever turn for him? That's like, it's a free bag right there. Free bag. Free bag. I might have put out a runner on that one, just, uh, just FYI. I might have gone a little bit heavier on that with a triple king, and I would have pushed that out just a wee bit, if you know what I'm saying. Plus, that MACV is also green, and you're back and forth, so you can take both sides. I would have gotten a little bigger on that. So my only critique on that would have gotten a little bit bigger, had a little bit of a runner on that. Amazing. I'm kind of curious how much farther that one went on you. Um, loving it. All right. Am I at my hour? I have, six, I have seven minutes technically till the hour, so I'm going to run it down. A thousand bucks. Oh, my word. Okay, here we go. Did he start fixing? Oh, 
Dr. Phenom. So he did say he was going to fix this today. He said he would fix it. He was going to add some more monitors and whatnot on his setup. Fantastic. Okay, so he's on NQ. He's trading some NASDAQ now, not just ES. <laughs> Making the smart play here on it. He's got double dots coming in on the high time frame. That is a... Um, this is off the MACV? Oh, what's he doing? He's doing the old stuff too. Oh my word. Oh! I'm gonna virtually strangle you. Okay, folks, that was not a death threat. It's a joke, it's a joke. But you know, when you just wanna strangle somebody sometimes, like, oh, come on, man! He's got it on the old 18 range. We, we, we don't do this anymore, bro. Again, it's not bad, it's just we've improved. Good, better, best. Remember, good is the enemy of better, is the enemy of best, okay? This is not the best. You're over here, you know, stuck on that. You should be putting this on algo bars for this Mac V chart now, okay? But yes, I see the play, it's great play. Nice work there on that one. And at least you're on NQ, but man, you got a long way to go, bro. Long way to go, come on, brother. Picking it up, come on, man. Let's do it, bro. Let's do this. Um, Yeah, we had so many great setups in here today. Michael B throwing down 6K on the day. You'd making note of here's ICT stuff, here's ours. You know, like so much easier to see actual stuff going on on the charts. Just beautiful, beautiful work. Oh, Khalid got his G300S. There it is. There's a tool for the job right there. Just make sure you guys work on uh, setting up your precision with your speed. All right, so let's talk about this setup. We got a few things. We got to change our color labelings. Like, folks, these are four monitors. This, honestly, I'll tell you guys, this feels like so much effort. I'm going to talk to you guys who, you know, do this stuff, okay? You're doing all this work. Like, oh, I'm going to put down four monitors. And, like, all of this can be replaced with one. You guys understand that? But this is a proper layout. You see how I have all the space? Dr. Phenom, hint, hint, nudge, nudge. You might want to take note here. You see all this work, all these screens, all this mess. You got these bevels in the middle, like giving me, you know, eyeball headaches trying to sit here and be like, oh, I, you guys know I have a video on this. Like a bevel right in the middle of your eye is so stupid, stupid. When there's no, I mean, hardly any cost to this whatsoever. One TV to solve them all. And they're so cheap, so cheap. In fact, somebody's going to post a screenshot of it. Um, again, it's just so, uh, uh, you guys get it. This is a beauty from today. Watch this sucker play out. Double cross, double move. Green dot, add to position. Another one, add to position. Boom, targets filled up top. Just amazing work. See the ads, folks? This is what we do. Add to position as the position's working our direction. Boom, pow, pops up. I don't know how much you made on that one, but that is a beauty. A lot going on there really quick. You guys, go download that one. Watch that one out. Multi-harmonic, double crosses, and double headshots. Amazing work there from TLK. Stellar, stellar. Let's come down here. I wanted to show um, a couple more. Was this double cross double hit F8 measurement? Oh, perfect. But he didn't use it. Hit F8 measurement target. Ah, okay. <laughs> All right, we got a couple things. Kevin, I think he's working on it. All right, Kevin, I'm, in I'm encouraging, bro. You can do it. All right, get that measurement tool going, right? But yes, you can see it afterwards, but go ahead and do it. Like measure it, show it out. Um, you got to get in the habits of those. Um, I think you're also the one that he he, he kind of mislabeled the uh, headshot earlier. You know, there's uh, there's just a few signs for me. I want to urge you, nudge you, get you in the right spot. I like the layout though. You got the three chart layout here going. I hope you got the other ones in your eyes, you know, purview, somewhere close by so you can see that. But yeah, even Curtis said, did I miss the F8? Yeah, he didn't draw it, um, but he could tell it's it's the proper one, right? Why is the J-hook so deadly? I know, that is a beauty. And he hit all three targets there. Bam, bam, bam. Amazing work there, sir. And again, the J-hooks, they, you know, they take a little bit longer. So it's, I, I don't, I say they're not for the faint of heart. You gotta be able to, to hold and look at him holding it all the way out, labeling all of his runners all the way out to target three. Amazing, amazing. <laughs> awesome, I'm not sure why he's puking. Another, like, I don't understand why people, <laughs> So much money. Okay, he's puking because there's so much money. Folks, I, I don't know how to... I, I can't rectify some of you guys. So some of y'all do not think like me. I'll just be honest. I try to like get my head into y'all's head. I, I, I can't. I wouldn't be using a puke face there. I'd be doing a definitely a different face. 10K for the GP. 95% profitable on the day. <laughs> it's apparently... Uh, I don't know. Oh, man, I haven't got to watch this one yet. Okay, I'll save this one for tomorrow. So Captain Price did a full 10-minute recording. We're going to save that one for tomorrow, Tuesday. We got 10 minutes of amazing stuff there. We'll do 
or Dr. Phenom, and we'll walk through some of his trades there. Um, getting down to the bottom, I wanted to show the price point. Somebody posted the uh, picture of some of these cheap TVs. Hang tight, and I'll show you guys the cheap TV stuff. It's at 2600 on the day. 2500 on a double cross, double move with a headshot. Uh, oh, double cross too. Uh, pff, I mean, double dots. Double dots plus double cross plus headshot plus deltas. Oh my word. Yeah, he's just like, dude, you got to look at this. This thing's just loaded up with everything you could possibly want. Look at that. Double, delta, ready up, plus. That means empower those double dots that are coming in. Plus a double cross, double move all the way out to target. Uh, yes, please. Look that up. Amazing work there. Kevin H. Should trust one of the savings. Good contingents. Okay. What did we get here? 20. Wait! We have a new winner. We're at 33,000 for Taskmaster. Closing out the day. Holy cow. 33,000. 69% profit. Profit factor 5. Wow. Okay. Roger, you got some competition. Taskmaster just overtook the lead. Amazing. Amazing work there. Um. Some NQ and RTY live practice, 3,200, 86% profitable, profit factor five. Wow, PM Martinson crushing. Okay, here it is, folks. Look at this. No excuse. $448 for a 65 inch. What are you doing? What are you doing? You, 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 with the little tiny monitor still sitting on your desk with your four freaking monitors sitting out there. And one of these 65s is less than $500. What are y'all doing? Folks, my first 60 inch cost me like $3,500 back in the day. I still remember Sony Vega. Okay. I thought it was so cool buying a Sony Vega back in the day. $3,500 for a 60 inch. What are y'all doing? It's 500 bucks. 65. No, I'm not selling you get a 65. I'll see 65 is too big. If you're sitting at your desk, it's no, don't do that. Okay. <laughs> no, but I'm saying is this is how cheap stuff is getting. Go get one. You have no excuse to not have a 43 or a 55. 55 is ideal. Why? 55 is equivalent to 27s. Okay. Four by 27s. 27s. You, if you ever look at a 27 inch monitor, you know it looks really good. 43s is like uh, about a 23 or 24. It's okay as well. 55 is the absolute ideal for those of you guys who are asking. Slap that on your desk. You will never look back. All right. That is it, folks. I am just so pumped. You guys are absolutely crushing it in the room. I mean, what else can I say? Happy Valentine's Day. I love you guys. Literally, I freaking love y'all. Y'all are the best um, in the world. I can literally, um, I can say that with a, um, I, I just look around. Look around. There is not a better room in the world than this one right here. And you guys prove it every single time. And I am just so thrilled and so proud to be your mentor. Thanks for hanging out here tonight with me. Happy Valentine's. Send it off right here for me, Pippi, Robbie, Lunchbot, Mod Squad, Curtis G, and the rest of the gang. I am sending out the big town. See ya.